he done on the offensive end. Grant, how much of that is the system? Well, these teams have great systems, but ultimately it's about the players. The coaching takes you a long way, but it's a player's league. You need skilled guys who can execute your system, especially when you're in the playoffs. Let's take a look at our starters for Atlanta. Young runs point with Murray at the two. Johnson is out there with DeAndre Hunter, and it's Capella in at the five down low. against Young. With some arc. The putback. Controls the rebound and the putback. Well, Capella, if we watched him again there, he would be reading where that ball is going and he positions himself before the ball even comes off. It's clear Charlotte has the pieces in place to make noise in the league for years to come. Yeah, no question, B.A. They got one of the best young rosters in the NBA. And they're balanced. They play tremendous team basketball. Fun to watch. First team. First one falls for them. Well, after the first round exit in 22, the Hawks front brass admitted perhaps they've been too complacent with the roster. So that changed this summer, trading for an all-star, DeJounte Murray. He can make a big impact with his two-way talent. Now here's Johnson. Pass to Hunter. Now Murray. Five on the clock. Shot from the top of the key. That one a tad offline, but it drops in for him. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight. Not an easy fella to hold in check. Hayward with it. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. You're not going to fool the officials too often on an illegal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. And a second look at that rejection, taking no prisoners on defense there. That'll put some fear into the shooters, and he made sure to do it early, too. The Hawks have gone two of three from the floor. Murray against Rozier. Left side Young, pass to Capella. And here's Murray, pounded by Rozier. From 10 feet away, pulled the shot a little left. The bounce goes his way, though. Murray's got his second basket. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. Yeah, right now, I don't see any let up. I think he's going to just keep putting his foot on that gas pedal. Two minutes. Now here's Hayward. Rozier outside. Two minutes. Now Williams. Shoots over Capella. Williams misses. He may not be the strongest inside presence in the league, but still, he's got to convert from there. Well, in the 2020-21 season, Clint Capella showed how valuable he can be, Brent. Yeah, he led the league in offensive and defensive rebound percentage, and for his career, he's averaging double digits on the glass. But that season, B.A., man, that was ridiculous, even by his standards. Here's Hayward. After the Hawks picking up a basket just moments ago, that one's good for two. I mean, scoring on all three levels. Gordon Hayward is such a difficult assignment. Johnson passes to Young. And he lobs it up. Oh, got a piece of it. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line for the Hawks. That's good from Capella. Capella has finished in the top three in offensive rating for a couple years now. And he's up there in most years with the highest field goal percentage in the league. Capella hits them both. This Hawks offense can be explosive when they're hitting. They can hurt you from inside and out. They move the ball well and they run well as a team. Now here's Smith. Martin with the ball. Fires from deep. Smith, that one's good. You don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. A chance at a two for one if they'd like. And I really can't see why they wouldn't. Murray passes to Bogdanovich. Smith against Murray. Up and over Smith. On the money from 12 feet away. Murray's got six points. Rozier outside. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Smith no good. 
Bogdanovich against Washington. Pass to Okongwu. Here's Murray. From down in the low post, it goes. Give him eight. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? Yeah, ATD sent out to try to find out where the defense is. Inexcusable. And so it's the Atlanta Hawks closing out this quarter with a seven-point lead. A big difference in shooting percentages. That's why they lead back to the game after this break. played through one quarter in this one. All right, guys, what do you think about the Hawks here in this one? Well, you have to credit their effort on the defensive end. It set the tone for this contest. That defense has been infectious here as everybody stepping up aggressively on that end. All right, this is how the floor looks for the Hawks starting the second. The tandem on the perimeter, Murray and Hunter. Onyeka Kangwu is out there with Johnson. And it's Young in at the point guard position. All right, Brent, you're part of the front Jaylen office. Johnson. Take back the curtain a little here. First, what do you guys do ball. that the average fan doesn't know about? Well, the draft process is a lot more in-depth than people would ever realize. And one of the biggest things, B.A., that you have to take into account is what it is, not just talent-wise you're inviting into the building, but the character and how it fits around what you've already established. So taking one guy that might be a player that you think is a great player might not be great for the current team that you have. And so the layers, they run pretty deep. I think he rushed that one just a little bit, thinking the defense was going to get close. They weren't. It's Hayward on the wing. Gets the three ball to go. Hayward's got five now. He's a dead-eye shooter. Hayward with no reservations about taking that one. Pass to Murray. Hunter on the wing. Back to Murray. Johnson with it. Here's a Kong Wu. He's guarded by Washington. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. The first free throw is good. The Hornets making a switch here. Williams is checked in. Going to the line, shooting two. And he makes both free throws. Charlotte trailing. Time called here. The Hornets decide to talk it over. Start making some noise if you want a free teacher. I can't hear you. Give them a round of applause, everybody. Your honeybee. Now here's Ball. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first point of the game. Rejected by a Kongwu. And they recover it. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. And here in the second with about a minute and a half gone by. Up top, Johnson. Pass to Murray. And it's Murray finishing it off. And you can't leave the basket unprotected. Bad things will happen to you. Yeah, that was just way too easy. Will not find a higher percentage opportunity than that. Bridges outside. And the call is going to be, yes, an illegal screen. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. Got to hold firm or you're going to get a call. Rozier, he's checked in for Charlotte. Here's a Kongwu. Perfection with the jumper from the elbow. The Kongwu's got four points in the quarter. Mid-range, plenty of room for that release. He's going to take those all day long. Pass to Bridges. Now here's Ball. Hayward outside. And here's Bridges. Six to shoot. And Hayward. 
Hayward gets it to go. All the assist by Bridges. Hayward's got eight. The deep shooting ability of Hayward is invaluable. A forward who stretches the deep. Even as a forward, Gordon Hayward can run the offense, Grant. Hey, B.A., he is a tremendous passer. Hayward's averaged over five assists a game during a season. Having Gordon in the front court really helps the ball move. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Hawks will retain possession. So for the Hawks, Capella comes in for Okongwu. And Bogdanovich is subbed in for Hunter. A minute four left in the first half. Just four to shoot. Here's Young. The top of the key jumper is on the mark. Young's got his first points of the game. Goes here outside. Pass to Hayward from the arc. He's got it. Four for four now. He's automatic. What vision from Rozier there. Seeing his teammate was wide open and making the right pass. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Young, the pass to Capella. Pounded by Rozier. And the officials call a traveling violation. Washington's checked in for Williams. Griffin, he's checked in for Atlanta. Twenty-seven seconds left to play in the second quarter. Pass to Rozier. Fifteen seconds left in the first half. And he makes it. Check out Rozier striking from mid-range. Maybe catching the defense off guard a little. Here's Young. It's hauled in by Hayward. Hey, sometimes the best looks don't equate to points. Bree Smith. The last second attempt there. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close. 19. You got it. Trey, what's been the key to your effort so far? Uh, just playing hard. Uh, we're playing hard right now. And they made a lot of shots, and uh, we got to do better at uh, making it tougher for them. Got to keep the fight going, guys. All right, good stuff, Allie. And we'll get back to the action at the start of the third quarter. And now the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA. After two quarters, it's Atlanta out in front. They've got a three-point lead. Kenny, what was your impression? They run this offense seamlessly. Each guy seems to understand his role. They're making smart decisions with the basketball, and I can give a shout-out to the playmakers. This team's success is because of you, brother. Shaq, let's get your insight on Charlotte. Hard to feel happy when you're a player. Make things harder for those guys defensively. Force them out their comfort zone. Contest every shot. And that's gonna do. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. Gordon Hayward having a dominant impact in this game. And the bulk of his production has been generated along the perimeter. Yeah, he keeps tracking down those spots behind the three-point line and, and finding some open opportunities. Paul and Rozier are the guards. Hayward and Bridges at the small and power forward spots. And it's Williams in at the center, locking down the middle. That's the Hornets 5. Johnson. Just do your work, try to get open, and Trey's going to find you. Charlotte's got four of seven threes to go so far in this game. Pass to Rozier. Back to Hayward. Three-pointer. Capella with a rebound. The Hawks leading. And you know what, Trey Young? He almost embraces being the villain to other teams' fan bases. It's like he feeds off the fans heckling him on the road. Just a superb read on defense to come up with the block. Yeah, I love that they maintain the defensive energy even when they're behind. The pass to Hunter. Over Hayward. Hunter 
good. DeAndre Hunter. And it's a seven-point Hawks lead. And Grant, as you said with Young, he's been the villain in the playoffs more than a few times. Yeah, B.A., players who can embrace that are good for the NBA. Trey Young has fun being a thorn as a visiting player, and he always backs it up with his play. Goes here, gets the bucket. Here's Murray. He's got ten. Pass to Capella. And we're just about a minute and a half into the third quarter of basketball. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. Shoots. And Hayward gets it to go on the assist by Bull. Hayward's got 13. You know, it's fun watching Hayward turn it on like this. He's scorching hot and attacking the defense with confidence. Pass to Murray. Inside, here's Capella, and it's Capella yes, with the jam. Using his length that time, Capella up top to slam it down. Rose here outside, back to ball. It's Bridges on the wing. That three's off the mark. The Hawks have gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. To the inside. Murray, shot is good. And he was dominant in their last outing. And the same thing here tonight. He is in a terrific groove right now. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. Rozier. And the shot counts. He's fouled. And it's a chance for a three-point play. Atlanta making some changes here. Akangu is checked in for Capella. Griffin comes in for Johnson. And Bogdanovich is subbed in for Young. First team foul. At the line. That free throw good from Rozier. And when you look at Rozier, such a fantastic score. A gear-shifting, talented guard who continues to improve. Shot from 12. Yes, on the jumper. Murray's got four points now in the quarter. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. The three, Smith. Rebound Atlanta. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Bogdanovich up top, pounded by Rozier. When you think about careers and how they unfold for this guy, Bogdanovich, played in Serbia and Turkey for five years, leading up to getting over to the NBA. It's been pretty seamless. And he makes it first. Bogdanovich has suffered some injuries along the way, and it's been a bit of a stop and start deal for him. But when he's feeling good, and when he's in a great rhythm, Man, he's an offensive force. The Hornets making a switch here. Martin's checked in. And a change for the Hawks. Fernando's checked in for Hunter. Here's Martin. Soft touch off the glass. In a tight game, they wanted to make sure of that possession. And we just had to see that mobile one drive one more time. Great stuff. You're toasting the defense and getting in close. They'll take possessions like that one all day. Donovich against Rozier. Pass to Griffin. Here's Fernando. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Bogdanovich, that's good. Well, he's an accurate shooter and has some great confidence. Bogdanovich with the beauty. And it's Smith penetrating. Count that bucket. Smith's got five. That's a great move if you can pull it off, especially against tight defense. With one on the clock, no good on the buzzer beater. And so it's Atlanta leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. Getting lots of great looks, shooting it well. That's why they're up. And don't go far. We'll be right back. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Well, a great job with the eyes 
And what separates great playmakers, as we know, is peripheral vision. Well, this has been a great contest so far. I imagine the fourth quarter could have more action in store for us. And the Hawks, looking at who they've got. Kongwu at the four with Capella at the five. Then it's Trey Young. Then there's Johnson. On the wing, Rozier. Driving to the basket. He's got a piece of it. Young against ball to the paint. Johnson gets it to go on the assist from Young. Assisted by and the Hawks lead by eight. All right, guys, what's your take on the hustle stats for the Hawks? Yeah, they've done a great job of challenging every shot they can. Their totals in the block column are a result of that aggression. Something else I've seen from them in this game is just how quick they are to capitalize on a throw. When they're pouncing on that stuff, you've got to be careful when you're handling the ball around them. Over to the left wing. Outside, Johnson. To the wing, right side. Pounded by Rozier. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Terrific design and execution, leading to an opportunity right at the rim. Bridges, he's checked in for Charlotte. And the Hawks making a change here as well. Hunter's checked in. Charlotte trailing down low and the basket by Bridges. He's been accurate to that. I think the best way for them to succeed. Outside Johnson. Fourth quarter now. We're about a minute and a half in. Ball against Young. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot and will go to the line. Making a switch here. Murray's checked in. Trey Young at the line. One shot. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. Free throw is good. Young. And the next step for Trey Young is just having that ability to focus on the defensive end and make some impact plays there. Ball with it. And Capella picks him up defensively. And there's contact and a whistle. So he's got two shots coming up. Man, good whistle there. First team foul. At the line. First free throw is good. So Ball nails both of them. A great player on a great role at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Williams. Atlanta. Ball. Time called here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Well, Quinn Snyder had some words for his team over the break. He told his squad to pour on the gas, saying, quote, we hold the lead. Let's keep growing and be aggressive. This is no time to let up. Great work, Allie. Thanks. Count it. Young's got five points in the quarter. And Trey just doing a great job being resourceful that time, finding an open space, knocking down a mid-range. Gets it to go. Once he saw the smaller defender guarding him, he took it right to the rack. We've got a minute 48 left to play in the fourth quarter. Young against Ball. Young inside. 
man, it's in there. Ooh, that's a sly little play as Trey Young gets inside and slips past the D. And we just had to take one more look at that great drive. Yeah, and with a finish like that, you... Charlotte, they're working against the clock now. Ball outside. Outside for Rozier. From deep. Rebounded by Johnson. The Hawks have gotten five of six shots to go in the fourth. Pass to Young. And count it. Now five for seven. And they had an advantage tonight. Came out sharp and did what was needed. Nice win here for the Hawks. And at first glance, it appeared to be an easy win for them. However, they had to weather some storms along the way, Greg. Yeah, in terms of competitiveness, it was a lot closer than the final score indicates. And as most people predicted, the defense, even though they were keying on him, had no answers for Trey Young. Just really loved his activity level here tonight. Constantly mixed it up, and he threw himself into a lot of plays. Taking two shots. And so Ball nails both of them. 54 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Ball against Young. And here's Murray. Here's Hunter. Count that one. You gotta give them respect. They're doing everything they can to close this out. You love that the guys are staying aggressive late in this ball game, just not wanting to let go of the rope. Ball, unable to get that one. So the Hawks will take it the other way. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. They really came in with the right mindset today. I can guarantee you their flight home will be filled with some smiles. Yeah, when you step into an opposing team's arena and you can play with this type of composure, boy, that food tastes good on the way out of town. Twenty seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Pass to Thor. Shoots over Griffin. Hits a close-range jumper. He picks the exact right moment to get himself a clear line to the basket. Outside Young. Atlanta easily grabbing this Ladies one. And Exceptional and effort on the road. They were ready and they were focused. Focused indeed. I mean, it takes a strong mental approach to block out the distractions. These guys stepped up 100%. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Trey, this is a young team. Talk about the chemistry and the connection and how you play together. Uh, I mean, if you hear around us outside of the locker room, and you can tell why we why we support each other so well and the energy we have for each other on the court. I mean, it, you can tell the reason why we do that. And uh, I mean, I love this group. The connection is there on and off the court. Guys? All right, Allie, thank you. And that about wraps it up. Alongside Brent Berry, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson with our entire 2K crew thanking you for watching. We'll see you next time.